Today's Dallas is us playing Battletech once again, and today we're up against 4x20. Today I'm running something with a whole bunch of LRMs on it, uh, just so that I don't have to run across the map against people who have jumpy mechs here. We are running two Centurion A's, a Commando, and an Orion here, so hopefully we can uh, get a hold of something and just put a bunch of LRMs into it, no matter what our opponents bring in here. We are going to get you around this side, buddy. In fact, we're going to get you a little bit further back because normally what happens here is uh, if you move too far forward, they will sensor lock you first. I do have arc light here in the hope that we maybe get uh, our sensor locks. Even if we get sensor locked second, hopefully we can do some initiative stuff here. Maybe. I also brought Mockingbird here on one of these uh, Centurions here. I've mixed it up a little. Normally I'd put someone quite tanky in the Orion, but I've actually given this Apex so that uh, I can jam the LRM 20s in. We have a Commando 2D coming in. What else we got? Another Commando 2D. Woo! That is a lot of Commando 2Ds. And another Commando. Oh, he's brought something fairly heavy at the top end here. Um, an Atlas would be my guess. Uh, we'll reserve down, though. I'd say there's going to be a lot of sensor locking out of these. If that's an Atlas, he's probably looking to do LRM-20s onto us with Apex. We're going to maybe have a hard time keeping some of these 2Ds down. Hmm... Hmm, indeed. That is a lot of insanity here. Uh, if we can dual lock, we can maybe stuff this over. What we're going to do here is we're going to reserve down. And use possibly Mockingbird to lock this. And then everybody else can sort of fire in when he's only got two evasion. Uh, two evasion... Let's see, we would maybe score a hit with one of these guys. We need to rip some of these things down as best we can. Uh, definitely this guy, he has no cover though. So we should be able to have a fun time against that. I don't know what else you would have unless it's a victor. I suppose a victor could fit in here um, for the depth and above. We're just going to try and keep our range here, though, and just hammer down everything as quick as possible. Force that assault in. And then pray that we have enough bits and pieces left on most of our mechs to quite possibly get in and win. Interesting fit, though. I'm not sure I would push the commandos so far forward. At least not like that, anyway. We will reserve down to see what maybe this assault is. Uh, Arclight, does he have vision on you? He does, which is a little scary. So we might move Arclight here to the side, just so that we are out of sight here. Out of sight, out of mind. Sense lock up this guy. We'll pull back with Mockingbird. I'm assuming Mockingbird is in vision somehow. Hmm. We could actually turn Mockingbird here and tank with her and then move blockade around. Rolling. So Mockingbird will tank up hopefully right here. Bulwark should hopefully do something. Actually, if it's uh, Apex in a uh, AC20 there, then uh, LRM20, then we maybe shouldn't have done that, but so be it. We'll take to 65. Is that the best we can get? I could hit with some of this stuff. He has no vision, but we are a little exposed there. I think we'll just turn with you and fire. Do our best to tank against these things. Uh, we'll drop some rounds on you. Pop an arm. Not bad. He's down to one here. If we get uh, the Orion in, we should be able to hopefully chew this thing up a little bit more. 
and uh, be fairly happy here. I'm going to move the Orion. Probably, we need the Orion to be a little bit further back here. Mm, although I'd like to hit with the AC-10 as well. 80 to hit. You know what? Go in, buddy. Go on in. I'm a little scared that these things are going to swarm us <clears throat> and get around the back. But uh, hopefully we hit with some of these LRMs, do a bit of damage here, and make life just generally miserable for this thing. Interesting. Blockade. Oh, no, blockade doesn't have... Do you not have bulwark blockade? That's a little scary. I thought you did. Alright, should I check the skills? Uh, I suppose what could be back here. I don't know about taking a bunch of lights here. Uh, the reason this is a problem is if they get up close, these things will just punch right through and into them. Oh, he's bracing up something. Or he's either sprinting it forward. We're going to reserve in again. Oh, I could have actually probably have gone... For, no. If I'd moved around, these guys would have just absolutely swarmed. Alright, that collapsed. Poor civilians. They're always civilian deaths, you know. It's never good for the civilians. Alright, here we go. Just going to give vision. I wonder if he's going to brace this one. Could brace there. Uh, give everyone else vision to fire their SRMs. Here we go. Comes the SRMs. Into the side. We might... Oh, are we going to get knocked? Is that what's going to happen here? Possibly. Waiting for the right move. Uh, this many commandos. I think they could knock mechs. But if we get... I mean, we're pretty close range now. It's going to be a lot of... Combined fire. We probably just need to sense lock this guy once and then fire with everything into him to blow him up. Uh, we still then have to deal with two other commandos, but shouldn't be too bad. They're not exactly super well armored. I There are some fits where this kind of works, but you have to be really quick with what you've got here. I mean, he can... He can put out a lot of damage into the Orion, which would probably be pretty good for him, but um, if you don't, what are we doing here? What do we got? We got most of that. I mean, if you start losing mechs, it starts to get really shifty, right? Because suddenly you're down a lot of damage. These are each worth a hundred and something damage. Uh, if you lose one, you start losing a lot of damage. I mean, whatever's back here needs to be in battle really quick. Otherwise, uh, it's just not going to work for you. We'll swing our commander around this way. We'll sense lock up this guy. Try and just do what we can to him. We might move the Orion back a little here. Ooh, we are getting knocked down. Okay. So we'll have all of our turns. He is going to get to call some shots into this. Which is going to be pretty bad for us. Uh, we'll swing you possibly around here. And we will lock onto this. He's probably going to be into range of that LRM 20th. I'm assuming it's an Atlas. Oh, yep, there we go. Uh, so we need you gone fairly much. We'll get you gone, hopefully. So we'll fire in with, I'd say Mockingbird's going to have the uh, worst chance to hit here. I'm there. Uh, so in you go. Hopefully you can do a fair chunk of damage. Firing all we need to possibly kill him right about now. There we go. That's one down. <clears throat> if we can get rid of maybe this guy, we could... I don't know what's... I'd say that's still vision right there. Or possibly not. Interesting. I'd say he doesn't have vision now, so he can't use the LRM-20. Okay. Uh, blockade, do you... Okay, you do not. Uh, so, buddy, you probably need to get a bit of movement going here. Although, movement apparently is not great. <clears throat> We're gonna have to rotate you just a tad and fire down on this guy. We 
probably going to ease up with most of our... You know what? We'll fire in with most of the stuff. I just want to save a bit of heat for everything else. In case we have to go... Actually, no. We'll go in with everything. 40 to hit. It's not likely, but... Uh, we'll do our best here. Shred a bit of evasion off this. We're going to have to pull... <coughs> This guy back. Hopefully he doesn't have vision. I'm fingers crossed he doesn't have vision. Because it's going to be a lot of damage from this guy over here. It's got to be Apex, right? Mm. I would do this fit with Apex here. Just so that I could go straight through armor and everything. Uh, you need to get up. Hopefully this round he doesn't have enough to do another knockdown. Uh, we possibly just need to flick you around just so that we can eat some damage on everybody else. We'll probably just drop some LRMs over here. Uh, we might multi-shot this as well. <clears throat> so we'll LRM this and maybe put something into here. We'll probably won't fire the AC because I want to just keep that ready for when the, uh, when the Atlas comes in. Something like that. Yeah. You know what? We'll turn off this too. We'll keep that heat. Maybe we'll score one hit with the SRM here. It's not likely, but could happen. Could happen indeed. Ugh. It's not gonna happen. The rockets just fly past. Commando's like, meh. Good try, but uh, it's not happening. It's not happening at all. What we're looking for is these to come in. He's going to get a lot of focus on this Atlas, which is going to do a lot of work through our mechs here. If he gets to brace this thing up, it's going to be a hell of a time to get it down. These are probably going to come in. Do you run these in? I mean, I would have waited for my at. I would push the Atlas in front. The reason I'd push the Atlas in front is, even if you're caught in the open, these guys aren't getting hammered while they uh, have nothing to do. And they really have nothing to do right now. Uh, is he coming in for a punch? Alright, if I lock this, I can actually double punch this for a lot of damage. I think he's possibly coming in close to... Uh, try and ease off some of these braces that we have. So I'll probably just punch this in the face. Actually, I'll move this around, sensor lock it, punch it, and then punch it again. Maybe punch it three times if I can. See how much punching we can get in on this thing. That's a lot of stability damage. In the, uh, in some of the latest gameplay... The uh, stability on SRMs is getting a little bit nuked down. Uh, just by one on each SRM, which is pretty big. And it will start making a massive difference to the amount of knockdown these things can do. So the damage and the uh, damage and the knockdown is going down. Commander? So uh, do you just want to punch from here? Can you not... Really? Can you not punch from where you are? Uh, we might have to reserve for a sec. I want to maybe punch with the Orion here. By. If I can. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to reserve all the way down. Make him fire into these guys before I go crazy punching. Uh, just so that he isn't close enough to do anything weird. Or we're exposed. Because I think all the punches... We might get this guy down, but... We don't want to be in a really bad spot here. I do find this build quite fun, though. I mean, the Atlas with a bunch of commandos is a nice little build. Makes for a bit of fun, right? Alright, cool. So now we've eaten up a fair chunk of that. I wish I could brace, because we're probably going to get knocked here. But it doesn't look quite possible. 
So Apex, I prefer you had the trees uh, when you do this punch. 75 to hit, that really sucks. Actually, is it? I think it's 4 on a punch, 3 on death them above. So hopefully we hit here. We will at least swivel in the better side here. Oof. Taking him apart. The only problem here... Ooh, he's actually lost evasion. We could probably just shoot into this now. Uh, without that evasion. Standing by. Uh, let's just rotate you a little and probably just fire in. Because without evasion, it's going to be a little rough for him. I'll turn off. You know what? Hmm. I think we just go in with everything. Spend the heat. Do as much damage as we can. Clear this thing away from being in front of us. Alright, that's not the best of starts. We're going to have to get blockade around the side here, I think. And into nothing. Blockade, buddy. This really sucks for you, my friend. Really sucks. I could move like this, maybe give up a whole lot of evasion. Uh, he's probably going to get knocked. Actually, he can just fire from here. Alright, we're going to just have to fire from here. It's not great, because he might get knocked here, but he'll do what he can. Come on, buddy. We need this thing to just hit the deck. Alright, so now he's down to just the one. I don't know if he moves this in or not. The thing with uh, pushing up with these is it's not good. You should uh, generally keep them back if you're doing this fit and then swarm all at once. Because now what's your choice, right? You... I would probably have reserved as well so that I didn't give up movement on these. Straight away. Also, a tree cover would have been best. Uh, getting caught with no tree cover is pretty awful. I actually built this fit because I played him. I actually rage quit against this guy. I'm really sorry for X20, but I saw your fit and I was like, I'm not spending an hour going up a, up a hill. He actually had a whole bunch of jump mechs, so I assumed he was going to bring the same fit, but he didn't. And I thought I could just LRM him here. Um... So what he had was he had a whole lot of, on the stacks map, you can have jump mechs that go up the hill. And I had a, basically a brawling fit, which was not going to work at all. Alright, he's going for the Orion. He might be going for a bit of a knockdown here. We are unsteady. Unsteady Eddie. What do you need? I might just come in for the punch here. He has very little evasion going on. Uh, what will I get for this? I think, do I get enough? Oh, can we... So we get three evasion. Hopefully it should be okay. He could probably get a focus with this and just smush us. But we'll see how we do here. What I really want to do is just punch him around. Shred off some evasion. How do we do? Man, that is pitiful, brother. Pitiful. Alright. We could... So who's taken no damage here? Probably you. You could probably roll in and punch him from the other side. You are risking pretty much your AC arm here, which is not all that nice for us. You might... Mm, I might rotate you like this and fire in. Blockade. You'd be risking your AC arm as well. You can't even get there, by the that, way. That's even more disappointing. Um, Alright, let's rotate... And fire, actually, no, let's lock this. We'll sense lock this. Give it no evasion against us. And then we'll fire him with the other two. Uh, we're going to have to get you out of here. Apex. Because we don't want you getting blasted. So what we're going to do is we're going to reserve down to Apex. Move her first. Get that vision gone. And we'll just leave either our light mech here, who's probably going to get a full abuse. But... Uh, should be okay. Well, it probably won't be okay. I'm sorry, Arclight. You're probably going to explode here. I would say he's got a... Um, I'd say he's got a focus by now. So you're probably a little boned. Come on. 
show me the guts here. Show me the guts. When that Atlas gets in, so four against one Atlas. Yeah. It might be a fun build, but this is where it all comes undone, right? We're going to move like this. Uh, can I actually move better than that? I can get two evasion. I'm going to have to rotate really badly, though. I could just leave you here. I don't particularly like that. Hmm. Apparently I can punch from up here. Well, how far does this move get us? Two evasion. Uh, you know what? Let's just go in for the sonic boom. He might just focus up on blockade, which I don't mind too much. Actually, I do mind that a lot. We'll take the move. Possibly to here. Be out of vision. And be happy. Hopefully he either fires into this or this. Uh, either or will do us. Save some heat and fire in. He might explode. Come on. Oh, there he goes. Alright, so now he's got no vision over here. He's going to have to stomp that Atlas Ford. Or he might rage quit on me since I rage quitted on him. We'll see how we go. Sometimes you know you've lost. I know I tell people to stay, but I just oh, I just woke up in the morning and I was just like, I don't want to play this. I don't want to play a game where I'm going to have to play for about two hours and go up a hill. As fun as that would have been, it would have not been fun. I could have maybe have... Uh... Alright, buddy, you need to get out of here because I know what's coming for you and it is death. My friend, it is death. He might be able to swing around. I don't think he'll have enough vision, though. We might just go over here, though. Just to save your ass. We'll probably go full tilt on this. We'll put Mockingbird towards the front. You're probably going to get blasted here, my friend. Um, we need to maybe move into punch range. This thing's going to do a lot of punching, though. Mockingbird, you need to rotate like this. Give up the arm. And give up the firepower on him. Let's go, baby. We're going to do a fair bit of stability damage. The only problem is is uh, he's probably going to brace here. I'd say, now that he's got vision. Uh, blockade. We're just going to move you back as well, because I don't really want you getting smushed. And you have some heat issues. So we're going to probably cool down a little on blockade, if we can. Uh, just with the AC. Roger. Try and save what we can here. Apex, you're going to come around on... What side has the AC? That side. Commander. We kind of want to just rotate on him a little. Like so, I guess. Drop in the LRMs. We do full damage with LRMs. Save some heat. And away we go. This is what I really need Apex for, is just to get through this, uh, any brace he's got going on here. He's got vision here, he's probably going to focus, rip a huge chunk out of, uh, Mockingbird. We won't have a focus for a while. Oh, he doesn't have vision? Is he moving around the front of Mockingbird? It looks like he is. Oh, here it goes. Who's he picking here? Is he picking Block A? I don't know about moving straight out into the middle, though. Oof. Oh, that's such a mangle. Such a mangle. I love the Atlases. They are beasts, right? Absolute beasts. But, uh... So he's used his focus. I'm pretty happy to bring in... Uh, you, sir. I don't want to get too close that he suddenly... turns around and punches you. I'm pretty sure we're safe about here. Uh, so you just want to book in. Luckily he didn't brace, so there's no stability gained back. We don't have any PPCs, so we're not going to do any um, damage to his ability to hit us, unless we knock him down. But we will roll him a fair chunk. His evasion's gone. Uh, yes, Commander. Do I want to lock him in Mortal Kombat? He could. We'll reserve down. I think we will. I think... Uh, Poor old Mockingbird here. She's going to go in for Mortal Kombat. She's going to be like, I got this, boys. And then she's going to get rolled. 
Alright, so you should be pretty good to fire in a couple of weapons here. We could fire in the LRMs, we'll probably... Actually, you know what? We'll go for the punch, because we might knock him here. Oop, that's not the button I want. Can... Hello? Do we move you? Oh no, did I already move you? Idiot. Alright, we're going to have to fire in then. I should have gone with Mockingbird. We could have knocked him. And then we could have fired him with everything. That really sucks. I could have done this a lot better. Uh, Mockingbird, good luck. You are running on in to punch him. I should really fire into this, but I think we'll run in and punch because it'll be much more hilarious. He could, of course, uh, he'll get up and probably destroy this poor Centurion. It is an Atlas. It is basically a mobile tank. Well, more of a mobile tank than these things, but... I uh, will rotate you. Uh, the... I want to keep the AC as long as I can. Because the AC is one of the better weapons here. Fire in most of this. <coughs> He's going to have fair chunk of damage going into that center torso, but it's not huge. I would get up and maybe just punch Mockingbird. He could swing around Mockingbird and fire into the side. Uh, which would be massive here. But we'll see how things go. Uh, we'll see how things go. One against four, the problem is, is you get a lot of... Uh, unless all of these had lasers, a lot of knockdown happens. And it starts to really cost you. If there wasn't so much knockdown going on, then things would be okay. But with the amount of knockdown, you uh, you really don't have enough torso action here to survive it. He's going for the punch, maybe. Okay, he's backing into those trees. Uh, does he have another? You shouldn't have another focus, right? I don't know, because you're down four mechs. Oh, baby, that missed. That's huge, that, that, that AC-20 missed. That's 100 damage. That would have been probably been that torso. He shut down. Ay ay ay, sir. That is no good for your mech. Uh, we definitely don't want to get in too close. I'd rather just fire from back here somewhere. Just so that we uh, don't get hammered down. And he has pretty much done this round, I'd say. There's no way you're getting... Uh, there's no way your Atlas is getting out of this without uh, without it. Hmm. Mockingbird, you want to run in for possibly a punch? I wish you could call shots on melee, but you can't quite. Um, but go for it. He still needs a turn to start this thing up. So we're pretty safe here. <laughs> that is a solid punch. <laughs> right into the molten metal there. She's like, I got this, I got this. Got not much, Mockingbird. On my way. We are stinking hot in the Centurions. But, uh... I think we should have this pretty much in the bag here. AC's hit. Everything hits. It is... Three structure. On that... On that thing. And it's knocked down. Imagine being inside this atlas, you're like, oh god, it's hot, I've got to shut this thing down. Oh my god, I'm on the ground. Oh my god, I'm getting punched. I'd just be ejecting from this. They did uh, show the new build, and there is ejection. So, uh, you can eject your pilots in single player to save them, which looks pretty cool. I think it's done in there so that you can, uh, I think they're going to maybe kill off your pilots if you have any sort of catastrophic failures and I'm assuming you're gonna to want to keep your pilots here wow that came in at 19 mil 19.5 mil let's have a look at what he brought blockade wildfire and ozone showboat wait that's the commandos oh, God, I was about to say why is showboat in the atlas uh, he's actually got the atlas in here wildfire it's kind of a good choice she does have um, she does have brace bulwark so you can stop moving. You get pretty good firing chances with this. Um, don't know about a bunch of uh, commandos, though. I might try this fit. I might try this fit next. 
I'll probably lose just as bad since uh, these commandos are fairly flimsy. If you target them, they will go down. Uh, and there's not much in the way of vision that you can give without them being in the front line, but I think we'll give it a whirl. And with that, we'll take a break. Tune in next time for more adventures of Battletech. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.